Hi everyone, this is Bethany, Be A Crafty Girl, and I just wanted to share something that I worked on today. I made this crayon wreath for a coworker who has accepted another job in another place. So we're having a going away party for her uh, this evening, and I wanted to make her something. So I saw SM Scrapper make a really big wreath. Uh, with the crayons for her child's teacher and I thought it was really cute but I didn't want to make a real big one I just wanted to make a little one and uh, so here it is I used a box of 48 crayons and I had about 10 left over I didn't use the browns that's what I had a left over so uh, it took about I want to say it was like 36 crayons is what it took to use and I used uh, two smaller sorry I'm not in frame I used two smaller hoops and I only used the the inside of the embroidery hoop in hopes that I could, you know, stretch my luck a little f farther and be able to make another one uh, some other time. So I just used the inside loops of the embroidery hoops and at my Walmart we only had colored ones. So there's a green one and then the inside one is a blue one. They didn't have the wood ones. which. Beggars can't be choosers because we just recently got that kind of stuff at my Walmart. So I was glad they had what they had. And then, um, so I used the crayons. I think they were like $2.14 or something like that. And then uh, here's one of, I bought some wood stars in the craft section at Walmart and then covered them with paper and then outlined them with my gold Krylon pen. This was a button, and this is a button, and I cut the shanks off. That's a little owl. And then this paper that I used to cover the stars uh, I got at Michael's. It was a Recollections brand. Here's my ribbon that I did. I made it and hot glued it all together, and I'm kind of proud of myself <laughs> how it turned out. The little ABC ribbon right here is from Hobby Lobby. This star ribbon right here I bought at Walmart. This is an apple button. And then the loop is also with that star ribbon to hang it. Here's another star that I covered with paper and then a little notebook paper button. I thought that was really cute. And then I did my crayons in rainbow order. And I think it turned out super cute. I'm really proud of it. Because right there in the middle when I was gluing the crayons on, I wasn't real sure how it was going to work. <laughs> but it ended up being really cute. I really like it a lot. And so I made her that, and then I also made her a little card to go with it. It is a three by four inch card. And I used the same paper that I used to uh, cover the stars on the wreath. And uh, I stamped a sentiment in the back. It says the thing about courage is it's something we have to learn and relearn our entire lives. And um, there wasn't enough room to have the girl and the sentiment side by side, so I just put the girl on top of the sentiment, and I think it turned out really cool because you can still see the learn and the relearn, and it kind of goes together. Um, here's my girl. She is from My Favorite Things. She's in all modes, and I think she turned out really cute. I colored her skin and her clothes and her hair with my Spectrum Noir markers, and then I paper pieced the apple with some of the pattern paper from Fly a Kite from My Mind's Eye. And I think it turned out really cute. So there's the front again. And then on the inside I already wrote her a message. I just used the other die and some more pattern paper. So uh, that's my card and there's the wreath again. I think it turned out pretty good. It does take more crayons than you think it might. So that's just my little tip for you. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope she really likes it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.